<laughs> What's up, y'all? Welcome to the Let Me Stretch You Out Show Live 2021. Thank you so much, Lawanda Wood Griffin, for coming to the Let Me Stretch You Out Show, baby. This is the meet and greet portion of the show where I'm about to talk to you. That's all I'm going to do for about 15 minutes. I'm going to talk to you for 15 minutes, and then I'm going to give y'all something to take with you after that. I'm going to give you something to take with you after 15 minutes of Boogie B in your life. Hey, I'm ready today. I'm on my Denzel shit. I'm on my Denzel today. I'm on my Denzel today, baby. <laughs> What's up, Cheryl Lockhart? This is still the meet and greet. What's up, Tina Ronnie? What up? Lawanda Woods Griffin always coming in here tripping. What's happening, to Danielle with the D from the UK? I can't wait to say. Hey, what's happening, Teresa Davis? Touchdown, baby. I see you in the building. Thank you, Purple Pack, for coming on through. What's up, Lawanda Woods Griffin, baby? Oh, hell no. Let me see who else is here. Monica Desiree, what's up, girl? I knew you was coming quick, yo. I knew you was going to come quick. What up, Brandon? My boogie bros in here. I'm on one today, baby boy. I'm on one today, baby boy. <laughs> hey, you can you dick in the cut. You know, I got the fresh cut. I got a show tonight, brother. I got a comedy show at the Houston Improv with my partner, J.J. Williamson the third. Hey, J.J. with Jeremiah Williamson, one of the funniest comedians you ever laid eyes on. If, if after me, is J.J. Williamson, I promise you. Or, or he might be a little, okay, well, whatever. <laughs> hey, but J.J. Williamson at the Houston Improv tonight, and I'm going to bring him to the stage. And you know, Boogie B like bringing people to the stage. I'm, I had to get my cut up. Come on, April. I had to get my I had to get my cut up. I had to tell him shut up. Hey, but I, I, I little bit. Hey, I was at it. What's happening, uh, Shank Winnetta? Shank Winnetta, I think. I think you gonna have the hood name of the day award again. I don't think nobody name gonna be more hooded than yours in this whole entire comment today. And you know Boogie B got extra love for a hood ghetto named, the, a name where I know a black person named you. I like that type of name. If I know a, a brother and a sister came together and named you something, I, I'm, I'm going to put an extra little love on that. Now, nah, shake one that. I got to. Dorian, what's happening, Boogie Bro? What's happening, Monique? What's up, Monique? Fountain? Where you been at? I ain't been seeing you coming up here. To the Let Me Stress You Out show, I am your host, comedian Boogie B, the New Orleans representative, a.k.a. the mouth of the South, a.k.a. Mr. Come Here, Let Me Stress You Out. I'm that guy. Come on now, I'm ready for whatever you got. Bring it to me, Drew Ski from New York. Ski, what's happening, boy? Latasha Helms, what's up with it? Amy Ross with the sauce, what's good, baby? What's up, Sheena? Sheena Living, bring your ass too. I don't care what you do. Show out the shanks, I want you to come through and put that hot, spicy, saucy, turkey neck, ding, sick, ding, ling on whoever you want. Show out the shanks, you welcome to put that goddamn, you ready to rub that coochie on whoever you want to rub it on. You, hey, listen, Shawana Shanks, that's why I'm glad you be coming every day, because you understand where we coming from. We real ones, we real ones. I don't care what you is. I don't care how much coochie you done had. You done had probably about the same amount as me. So you you and me good. We are, we going to be great. Shawana Shanks, I just got a real thing lean, and you got a bunch of fake ones stuck up under your, up under your mattress. It, but it's all good. Take that motherfucker up out of that mattress and poke it, poke it, poke, poke, poke with it. <laughs> Come on, there you with the D. Linda Williams, what's good, baby? Good afternoon. Linda Williams, my good white bucket. My purple pack is all through up in here. If you brand new up in here, put a hand like that in the chat. Put a hand like that in the chat. If you're new in the Let Me Stretch You Show. Put a hand like that in the chat. What up, Dorian? Dorian Duffy Fairbanks. Okay, boy. 
Duffy, 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 Duffy. What's up, Renee Ross? How you doing, baby? You came through? Okay, good. Good to see you. I wish you would. Say what's up to Maria. Marie Jude. That's her. Who is that? Marie Jude? Marie Jude Zume. Marie Jude Zume. What's that? Hey, I'm on my shit today, baby. It's showtime. I got to put my uniform on if I'm going to go to work, don't I? Uh, if I'm going to get on that stage and go to work, I got to put on my uniform. Now, nah, shit, I got to look right. I got to come up there looking like I got it, because I do. Shit, I got to make it look, make look like I got it, even if I don't got it. Karen, what's happening? All right, this is the Let Me Stress You Out show meet and greet portion. I'm up in here. Oh, Nikita Smith, what's happening? You came through, you brand new. Well, let me introduce you to Michelle Nelson, who's spent at the bottom. Michelle Nelson is my vice president, the vice president of Boogie B LLC. Yeah, yeah, the vice president, yeah. She spent at the bottom. She spent that cash app right there. It says dollar sign Boogie B LLC at the bottom. It says cash app dollar sign Boogie B LLC. And my vice president fit that for you. So you can go and hit that, or you can make sure you can join this purple pack. Nikita, you want to join this purple pack now? I don't know if you want to join this purple pack. This is the elite sorority. A uh, uh, sorority slash fraternity uh, uh, that I have created of like-minded individuals of substance and noteworthy vagina. And great ding I only want good cooch and good ding energy in my comments. So all my purple pack that's in here, all them purple emojis that you see, that you've been seeing, could scroll back. All them, them ones is my boogettes. Them, them is what you call a boogette. They in my purple pack. Yeah. They in my purple pack. Why? Because they think purple pack, so they are. Your Gucci is as good as your mental mind state can handle. Hey, some of y'all don't got the mind to have purple pack. Some of y'all got the mind for red pack. Red pack is everywhere. It's common. It's a great, it's a great pack. The red pack? Come on now. This is a great pack. This is the best thing you ever tasted when you was a kid. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I love Skittles. Mm -hmm, I'm so flavorful. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Only thing was, they had a lemon one in here. Ain't nobody really liked the lemon. I mean, it wasn't bad because it was still a Skittle. But it was a lemon, and you would not prefer it. You had to eat two or three other ones on top of it to mask the taste of the lemon in here. But in that damn purple pack, it was not a not a damn one of them would mask. You can pick through and eat them all individually. That purple pack will make you get petty and eat it with two fingers. That purple pack of that purple pack of Skittles, coochie, will make you eat it with two fingers. Mm -hmm. that, that's how that purple pack will make you get petty and you start picking them one by one. If you have that between your legs, then you you are welcome to join this purple pack. But now, let me tell you what the purple pack make you do. The purple pack make you double back. So this is how you know if you got it or not, Nikita. If you ain't never had a man that broke up with you and came back begging for you or, 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 or a man who you broke up with, Told him he wasn't shit and his mama wasn't shit. And this nigga still came back to try to get some of that coochie years later. Or this nigga stalked you down. Or this nigga was in your But That purple pack will make you double back. When I first ate the purple pack of Skittles, I stopped at the store and I'm mm, damn these motherfuckers. Mm, damn. Well, how long these been out? These been out for a minute? Damn, this purple pack good. You know what? I'm about to go back in the store and get another one. I'm about to fuck this pack up. I'll be right back. Hold up. Hold the car. I'm about to get, yeah. I'm coming back. Let me get another pack of this purple. Yeah, I ain't know it was going to be like this. I was on that red, and I thought the red was the best, but nah. They dropped something new on me. Okay. The Lord dropped something new in my life. He dropped a purple pack in my life. Brandy Elkins, what's happening? Monica Yvette Rodriguez, what's happening? I got all my boogets of all flavors in here. I got my Canadians. I got my UKians. What you call the person from Liverpool? A Liverpoolian. Because Danielle with the D is from Liverpool. This is still the meet and greet portion of the Let Me Stress You Out show. I'm trying to introduce y'all so y'all can be comfortable in the, so y'all can know who y'all in here with. So you can watch their comments and so you might go pick up and learn a thing or two. You never know. 
You never know, because the people who fuck with me is some good, solid people. So you need to come on and be one of them. But you got to come every day. You got to come to the Living Treasure House show five days a week or as many days a week as you can. You got to come at least that amount of times to be a book at, to put them little red roses and that little purple in the chat. You got to definitely put your work in. Now. You got to get your purple pack hoodie. This is your last day. If you don't have your purple pack hoodie after today, I'm not taking no more orders. So that's going to be it for the purple pack hoodies. And we'll, we'll, we'll round up another bunch of book at. With a Boogette sweatshirt, with a Boogette purple pack sweatshirt with a drip on it. We'll round them up again next year. We ain't, we don't gonna take one set of hard recruits. We gonna take some new recruits all the time. But we gonna have some hard ones after these hoodies come out. These, these is guaranteed A1. If you see them in the street with that purple pack hoodie on, you know it, they one of it, they one of us. So you need to speak to them, hug them, talk to them, say, hey, you know Boogie B too. Yes, bitch, I do. That's what you need to do now when y'all get these purple pack hoodies in the mail. They're coming out this week and no more orders after today. Thank you, Maureen Gauchette, for ordering yours. A whole bunch of y'all already got your orders in, and I appreciate y'all. I got everything all the way up to 4X. So if you got them extra enormous titties on your body, I got something to cover them up this time. Now, hey, you got to use something. You can't let the titties hang out forever. You can't let, you can't wear them shirts with the titties busting out the top all the time. You got to wear a hoodie sometimes. And make sure it's a purple pack hoodie that you do wear when you get rained away. You got to put it in the cleaners, okay? Don't be getting all that ketchup stain. It's going to be white. Don't, don't get all that ketchup and mayonnaise and all that mustard stain. You done drop some damn, uh, you done uh, drop some pro style gel on the front when you were slicking your edges down. Hell no. Clean, put that shit in the cleaners and keep it fresh. Cause you never know when you got to pull that purple pack out the closet. That's how it is in real life, Mintel. Mintel, what's happening, pretty girl? Lady streets, where you been at? Did you order yours? Mintel, I don't think you ordered your, uh, you better, you better inbox me after the show or inbox my, my vice president, so you can get your order in Mintel. I need you in this elite sorority. I need you. I already know you. Now I need you. Come on now. Shawana Shanks in here swinging dingling. Shit, we ain't got time for the bullshit. Shawana Shanks in here pulling that goddamn dildo from out the top of that closet in that shoebox, and she ready to poke it and poke, poke if somebody slide in her deal. I'm just telling you what goes down and who you have in the chat as well, which is a little something to everybody, okay? All right, now, get on in this fraternity. It's some of everybody. You never know who, who until you bump into them in the streets with that white purple dripping down their chest. Even if you ain't got yours on, if you pass by in the car, you better blow the horn. Baby, what a purple bag. Ah! Yeah, the Let Me Stress You Out show is in the building, Teresa Davis. Yes, thank you for coming, baby. Shit. All right, Danielle with the D. I know you in here with all the laughing and kiki. And let me see what time it is now. Because you know I got something to ask y'all. I need my, is Nikita still here? The new girl? The new girl, uh, the new Boogette? Who about to join up? I don't know if she's still in here. What up, Miss Poo? Okay, Miss Poo came through. You got to get in my inbox now. Get you, get this 4X in your life, Miss Poo. Cover that titty in them. Keep them titties warm when you go out in the, in the, in the, in the, in the winter time. You put that purple pack on up under another jacket, too, just in case somebody gonna spill something on it. So you can bust that bitch open like Petty Eddie Kane when I see you with it on. You got that white hoodie on up under your goddamn jacket, your jacket over it, and you come and say, Boogie B, what's happening? I'm gonna be like, who is this? She gonna be like, dang, Petty Eddie Kane Jr. Boogie's in the building. Yeah, Shannon, these my, I got my little crew, Montreal, Montreal, Canada. I'm glad you in here. My girl Donna Williams is from Canada as well. If you stumble up across her in the comments, y'all be friends with each other. Shit, my girl Danielle with the D, she from the UK. She waiting on some old people from the UK to come in the chat so y'all can have something in common. Y'all can have Boogie B in common. What's happening, Lake Shay Renee? Is San is Quinella in here still with my hood day of the, hood name of the day? DM the pre pre order your limited edition purple pack hoodies. Cry J, what's happening? Okay, you ready for the bullshit? Let me tell you the bullshit then. 
Because now, this show was created for me to stress somebody out for y'all. So, just so y'all know before we go any further, this show is not about a purple pack. Okay, Shaq Quinetta, this is not about a purple pack. It's about, it's about real shit. This, this, this ain't about a purple pack. Now, when I say purple pack, I mean, I ain't talking about your vagina. I'm talking about your totality. I'm talking about your energy. I'm talking about your, uh, your womanly woe. That all incorporates in order to make you have the purple pack between your legs. You got to be a good person. You got to be getting your little money together or what have you. Tina Ronnie, you know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. But in between the stress outs, the show is about stress outs. So in between the stress outs, if I don't get nobody, if y'all don't type in nothing or DM me somebody to stress out, then y'all, what's up, baby? Okay, Keller. Keisha Keller. What's happening, Keisha Keller? Hey, Amy Ross with the sauce is in the comments. She from New Orleans, too. Yeah, she live in the N.O. still, too. So, we can, you know, we going to have some New Orleanians. Keller, I need you every day, though. Because they don't be believe, they don't be believing me and Amy sometimes. When I tell them what the shit we do in New Orleans, they don't believe. Some days I tell them. And don't nobody be on my side but Amy Ross with the sauce. I, 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 listen, Keller, I need you. Come back us up every day. Five days a week we here. So, Lisa, what's happening, girl? Love you too, baby. Mental, mental said, you at work? Okay, mental, don't worry about it. You, okay, you at work? Don't worry about being at work. You can stay, put your headphones in. You don't look at your phone. Just put your phone face down and just put your ear pods in. I'm still be the same skin, skinny chocolate nigga when you come back and look at me. Just, just put your headphones in. Them people ain't gonna fire you if they fire you, so what? It's time for you to start your own business if they fire you. Y'all make sure y'all fresh air at the bottom of your lives. Make sure you go on your phone like so. Let me make sure you go on your phone like so. And I want you to go to your Facebook like so. I want you to open your Facebook like so. I know you can't see it, but I'm telling you what to do. I'm telling you what to do. You go to your Facebook, right? And then you go to your page. All right, hold on. Let me go to my page. I can't even get to my shit. Okay, I can't get in for some damn reason. But anyway, get in that motherfucker and at the bottom, just press share. Share, 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 share. Send it to a bunch of people. You don't know who want to see this shit. You don't know their life like that. You think you do, but you don't. Just sit, send to them, and especially if you don't know them. Send it to them anyway. You need to get to know them. Come on, Linda Williams. You know I'm going to introduce everybody to everybody in this goddamn chat. I'm going to say everybody's name and your credentials all throughout my life, every day. Hey, you share as soon as you join Danielle with the D. I know you do because I have been noticing an uptick in, uh, in UK uh, fans. And fans that are from friends that follow me from the UK. I have been seeing a recent uptick in those in those areas. So I appreciate your promotion and marketing skills. Miss Pooh, I need you to chime in now. I need you to chime in as well. I need you to order your purple pack hoodie if you haven't already ordered it. Arnez, who is this? KJSA, you've been coming here for a long time. Order your purple pack hoodie. After this show, now you got it. Now this the last day. I ain't gonna be. Don't hit me next week. Tell I can I still get one? That shit is dead after this. All the way to next year, and I'm gonna start it over with a with a new purple pack crew. What up, Charlotte Garcia, Charlotte Jessica Rabbit? Thank you for coming every day. Hey, let me tell you the bullshit though. One of my bookets inbox me. And my boogie said, Boogie B, I want you to ask your Boogie B how, what, the, what should I do in this situation? I said, what situation is this? People always say, oh, that's a Lanisha. Lanisha, you probably already got yours. Or, no, you don't got yours. Order yours right now, Lanisha. Kind of, kind of great, I think you already ordered yours. Let me see. Cry J, I I don't know if you ordered yours yet. There's so much going on on the phone, you forgetting what you're doing? Yeah, I know, I can't, yes, I can't. I can't get into my damn Facebook for some reason. I ain't forgetting the motherfucker just won't let me in. But anyways, I don't know. I should have got logged in before I logged in on here because I was going to share it to your ass from my other account. Anyways, thank you, Charlie. Thank you, Brandy. Listen, you only, let me see if I can No, 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 no. No four days left. There's only one day left. Today is the 19th. After this, no more orders. 
No more orders after today. You can go on my website and order the regular Let Me Stress You Out show. shirts, hoodies. After that, the black one. The purple pack will be no more after today. All right, Danielle with the D. Let's go. Let me tell you what happened. My boogie inboxed me and saying, Boogie, ask your people um, what I should do because my man that I've been with, that I love, that I've been with for over a year and some change and a half or whatever. I've been with this nigga for a minute and I love him. He came to me the other day and he said, baby, um, your daughter uh, is kind of flirting with me. Your 17 year old daughter? Yeah, she's in there. She's she been coming on to me a little bit. I'm uncomfortable with it. Uh, I, I was just coming to you because I don't want no issues with it. But, you know, she, you know what she doing. She coming in the room with them little bitty shorts on, you know, breasts up, you know, booty jiggling, doing TikTok videos in the room while I'm in there trying to act like she watching a game with her nipples on her heart. She doing a lot of little shit that I think you need to probably. Yeah, I think you need to probably. Uh, you probably need to address your daughter about this type of situation. What's going on, Monique Thomas? This is what she said. My booget want to know what should she do now after her man that came to her and told her that uh. And now keep in mind. Hold on, let me throw you a little curveball. Yeah, I forgot to tell you the curveball she threw me in the story. The, the curveball is this. This is not even her real daughter. This is her husband's daughter who has passed away. And she done raised the daughter since she was three years old. But she feels like that's her daughter anyway because they've been together for 16 years. Over, well, 15 years or whatever. Going on 15 years. She been the only mama that girl know. She live with you. What you gonna do, Brandel? Lanisha, what you gonna say? Inbox me, Lanisha. Inbox me. What you gonna, um, Net said, hey to everybody, what up, Net? Net Simmons, you already got your hoodie coming anyway. That purple pack is simmering. Wait, no, it's stewing like a, a like a, it's stewing like a seasoned gumbo. It's stewing like a seafood gumbo. You gotta let it stew. You can't rush it. You gotta let that shit sink in. You gotta let the flavor sink in that purple pack sometimes. Tina Ronnie, Tanya, what you say, Tana? Tana New, Tana New Bauer. Who's Tyler Newbauer? Okay, Tyler Newbauer. I don't know where you at. I ain't see your name come through yet. What up, Bobby Davis? What up, Teresa Davis? No relation. Brandon said, I, I applaud it, honestly, because the other one would have been like Players Club. Okay. But what if you got a flirty kid, Brandon? Oh. Leanna said, oh, hell no. It's time for a conference. Round it up, guys. Round it up. What you gonna tell them, Leanna, when you round it up? You say it's time for a conference? If your man, if your daughter is flirting with your man and he come to tell you, that's a grown man now, but she doing it. He know he ain't playing like that. He ain't on that shit. He like, hey, cut that shit out. But she making it uncomfortable for him and she come to you and say, hey, what if Shawana Shanks? Shawana Shanks, okay, you might be with a woman, right? Your lady, your lady got a daughter. All three of y'all live together. Now, what if your lady daughter, you know, that's her daughter through her man, right? That she used to, when she used to like diggling. Now she like you and you and her together, right? Bet. Her daughter start turning into a little something like you, trying to get curious on the licky loop. Her daughter might get on the curious and, and, and pull out one of your penises from up on top of the uh up on top of the closet. She might be done. You come home from work one day, Shawana Shane. And then your little 17 year old stepdaughter is in there with one of your dinglings talking about what you be doing with this. <laughs> what the hell is with that? She a little flirtatious with you. That's what I'm saying. Now, wait, this is a flirty, like a little flirty, little hot ass little girl. 
hot in the ass, probably like her mama was when her mama was younger. So, I mean, she probably got it on it. So, let me catch up with the comments real quick. She's my friend, Tanya Newbauer. Tanya Newbauer, thank you for coming for Tina Ronnie. I appreciate you, Tanya. You need to join this purple pack. Tina Ronnie will tell you all about it later. Or go back and watch this whole episode all over. Teresa Davis says she need to have a talk with her daughter, with her man present, and the discussion. Wow. Teresa Davis. Wow. Teresa Davis said, so Teresa Davis put herself in a position. Teresa Davis said, if my 17-year-old was flirting with my man, I would have a conference call meeting in the living room with both of them. And I'm going to come in there and say what exactly, Teresa Davis? What is she going to say? And you too, Leanna, I ain't forgot about you. What you going to say? You talking about you about to call a conference. What is going to be in that conference? How that's going to go? Tell us how it's going to go because my book ain't listening now. She in the comments. Jada Love, what up, baby girl? I'm sorry. I'm a little slow in the comments today. It's coming up very slow. Hot in the ass. Yeah, she a hot little butt. And you was a hot little butt. Now that's your daughter. Hey, that could be you, Jada Love. Hey, Jada Love, what if it's your little daughter? And you finally got to start dating a man. After all that coochie internet all your life. You said, this time I'm going to get a man. I found a good one. I love him. We've been together for a year and a half. My 17-year-old daughter is flirting with him. He came to you and said that your, his, your daughter, your 17-year-old daughter, is flirting with him. What is your next move? What is, what you doing now? Somebody, Jay, Jay Love, what you gonna do? Now, you know that little girl hot in the ass. Now, that little girl hot in the ass, cause you was hot in the ass when you were 17. Now, if that's your daughter, if she got your DNA, well, you already know, you know, mom, you know, you have it all fall, fall from the tree. You was having sex when you were 16. So now your daughter's 17, and now she a little more you times 10. This this kind of your problem now, Lanisha. Now shit. If this your real daughter. But now, in this case of my book, who came to me and you today to ask us what she should do, that her stepdaughter, who do not have the same DNA as her, she just raised us since she was three and her father passed away. Amy Ross says she gonna be 40, looking 83 years old on this path. Mama gotta fix this. Grandma got to fix it if she can, if they can. Okay, Amy Ross with the sauce. Now you ain't telling us what to do. I don't know what that is. It's, somebody said it's an intentional flirt. Let's say it is. Let's say it ain't. Let's do a move then, fam. Hey, Tasha. Tasha Jackson. TJ. Huh? Let's say, let's say both of them. Let's say your little 17 year old daughter is flirting, so it. Let's put it in the position of she's purposely doing it. Meaning that she knows she got that little titties and them little booty and all that stuff. She know that. But she walking around the house with her little damn P.E. shorts on from goddamn middle school. She wearing middle school P.E. shorts walking around the house with a damn tank top with a nipple sprouting out with her breast poking up fresh out the shower. She done put on a whole boatload of uh, Bath and Body Works and Gucci Guilty. She going out there looking, smelling good like a grown damn woman walking around the house. She done put the head scarf on like Erica Badu. Oh, on and on and on and on. Max Pop, so the She listening to old music from our generation. You like, hell no. Yeah, this little half of his flirt. Let's say that she doing it on purpose. She know it, right? She know what she doing. And she flirt with the man and the man is uncomfortable and he come to you and say, hey, your daughter flirt with me and I feel like it's on purpose. I don't know for sure. But she damn sure putting on all that bath the body works and Gucci guilty and she coming around me with her nipples on the heart. Now this could be a, a problem that she don't know that, that I'm a man and she doing that. Or this could be a situation where she do know that I'm a man and she doing that. Cause she see me walking around the house with the basketball shorts on, jingling, doing whatever it's supposed to be doing. You know what I mean? Uh, she might see that and she might be a little horny helper in there looking at YouTube videos and Instagram and TikTok videos of niggas with muscles or something. You never know what these 17, 18 year olds are into now. But the girl is 17 and she's flirting with the man. Now what you gonna do? 
Well, let me see what Cheryl Lockhart said. It doesn't matter if it's intentional or not intentional. She needs to be checked before it snowballs into something more serious. If your man is weak and give in, that brings up even more set of a problem. You're damn right, because then he'll pedophile. Hey, you definitely don't want to take him down that road if you can't, if you can help it. Shit, that nigga ain't no pedophile, but your daughter is a whore. <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> Sasha Jackson, DJ. Hey, she your daughter is a whore. Hey, she came in here. She was like trying to jack my ding off. I don't know. I push her hand off. My ding got a little hard, but I stopped it. I kicked her out immediately. You need to talk to your daughter. Hey, you know your little fast ass hot coochie daughter. You know we caught her in the house with a boy when she was 13. Now she's 17. Now, you know, hey, you know, you know, your daughter a little fast. You know, hey, you told me all the stories about her. You, you know your daughter ain't shit. Hey, hey, I'm sorry. I hate to be the one to bear her bad news. But your little daughter, she a good girl. Now, she a good girl, but she a hot coochie alpha. Yeah, she a little hot to my land. She a little damn savage. Ugh, you see her with the TikTok videos with the popping up on the pop booted, busted challenge. She doing all kind of shit. She's 17. You know your daughter. Come on, Yolanda. You know Adna Lloyd name in the comments. Her name is really Yolanda. She just spelt it backwards in the comments. What a genius young lady that is. Thank you, Yolanda, a.k.a. Atna Lloyd. People actually call y'all Atna Lloyd, not loud, in this comment, but her real name is Yolanda. It's just spelt backwards, and we, it's, we fucked it up. Okay, good. You're an intelligent young lady. I'm glad you broke that down to me the other day. Thank you so much. Back to the story. Nikita White, what y'all gonna do? I wasn't like that growing up, and my kids aren't like that, so it's hard for me. I can't relate. Okay, or oh, harmony. Okay, well, if you wasn't, you wasn't. But let's just say that it's enough women out here that had goat that was hot coochie helpers when they were 17, that then when their daughter come out, you know, it's probably subject to be 10 times as worse of because the internet is around now. You was a hot coochie helper, and it wasn't no internet. Oh, no porno. You barely can watch no pornos or nothing. You was still hot coochie hunching on the hunching on the edge of the sofa, grinding your vagina on it, trying to... Come on now, think about when you started playing with that thing down there. You know what you was doing. I don't care who he is, Hope Army. You too. I don't care if you was actually doing anything outside of sexual, you know, in real life. But your mental mind state, if you could have done it back then, you would have. Don't start that shit with me, Hope Harmony. Don't you dare. Don't you dare act like you ain't had the same sexual desires that all the rest of us have had in our younger days when we were discovering our body and you was playing with that coochie with a damn... You put the back of the remote control in your coochie one time, some of y'all. Hey, some of y'all used to hunch on the... Put the pillow between your legs and hunch on the pillow all night long. That's a hot coochie. Whether you having sex with a man or not, you had a hot vagina back when you was younger, and your daughter might have got it honest. Now, damn that, Tasha. Tasha said, "I'm gonna make a insurance. I'm gonna make a life. I'm a, oh, the life insurance policy is paid in full on God." Woo! Wait, Tasha, who you gonna put the life insurance policy on? The daughter or the man? Who you are? Or you? What? Who? Whoa, whoa, whoa! This shit just got complicated, Tasha Jackson. DJ. What you talking about in here? Leticia, hold up. Oh, let Kiki in there laughing. Hold up. Let me see what's going on. Guilty of charge. Oh, oh, oh. Somebody need to put the hundreds in the chat because I'm speaking all facts. There's some hot coochie cats up in this comment chat. Come on, Shank Winetta. With a name like Shank Winetta, that vagina was on fire when you were 17. Your coochie was ready to bust out your clothes. Stop it. I wish all y'all would stop it. Now, the men, we always know. Well, we had it hard. We had it hard. You know, we we always, our dingling stay hard. Before we could say the word dick, our, we had to call it a dingling. It was always hard. We admit our shit. Y'all sit up there, uh-uh, no, I never, I was never like that. I don't know where she would get something like that for to be hot coochie. Except, yes, she was. If you wouldn't, check your grandma out. Check out your mama. Yeah, somebody is in the family with definitely a hot cat hoe. Think about it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, I ain't talking about no whore like a prostitute. But you know what I mean. You know what I mean. You want to get somebody down your line. Now, this little girl got it honest. This is in her DNA. 
You was pregnant at 17. You're damn right you was, why not? Because you was a hot cat helper when you was 13. That coochie was bubbling up. And then when you're 17, got pregnant. Now you want to regulate your daughter. Okay, let's move on. Have the talk with both of them individually to make sure they both understand the entire behavioral guidelines out of their bedrooms. And then take her in her room and remind her of who brought her in. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. And be the one that, wow, oh, wow, wait a minute, wait a minute, Michelle. Hold up. It sounds like you just said that you uh probably getting ready to kill somebody. Over some ningling. Oh no, this, this this might not be no good train for you now. This might not be worth it. I'm just saying, you remember Miss Sophia? She got put. It ain't worth it. She said it ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. I don't think it's worth killing no killing your kid over this ningling. Now this getting to look carried away in here. Woo! I come from a family of a hot purple pack. Oh hell yeah, Charlie Garcia, you Latina. Them Latina girls, coochie be hot at the kid. Uh, it be hot before the Kisiera come around. Shit. Them Latina girls, coochie be ready to get you down in some trouble. And you ain't wonder why your daughter hot like that too. And trying to sneak around with your man. Because she ain't got no other option. Hey, Ethel. Hey, oh, oh, okay. Ethel then came here with the old name of the day. Yes, sir. What's up, Ethel Dra? Your damn name, Ethel girl. What's up, baby? Glad you made it. You're late, but you're right on time for this ride. And you're right on time for me to ask you this. What would you do if your daughter, 17 years old, said, I mean, if your man came and told you that your 17-year-old daughter, not his, but your daughter, came to him, was flirting with him in a household, and he came to you one-on-one -on -one like, hey, son, get your daughter. It seems like she's being a little hot cat now. It seems like she got hot cat on the track right now. I don't know what the hell going on with her. You know, I've been knowing her for her since she was 16, 15 and a half, you know, but now all of a sudden, she looking at my ding -a I caught her looking at my, at my bird one day. I'm, I'm doing a little thing in the yard. I said, damn. She was looking at me and she said, mm. She made a noise. Yes, yes, yeah. You might want to talk to her. I'm not suggesting you kill nobody over no ding -a now, Hey, I, Hey, I'd rather give it to both of y'all. Then one of y'all pass away. Shit, I hate. That's not easy. Hey, I don't want nobody to die over the shit. I don't want you doing. But if, if she gonna die, if I don't get it, I don't know. I, I just don't want nobody to die. It's just getting weird. Hey, Leticia said, Leticia said, Gucci just thumping her. Come on, lady. Do you know, y'all know he right. I know, I know, Leticia. I ain't here to be the moral judge. I'm just telling them that I know. And even if you can keep it to yourself, whether you want to or not, but that just listen to the story. My bugat said that her daughter, and it's not even her biological daughter, it's her daughter that she raised for her husband who done passed away. And she's 17 years old, and she's flirting with my man. What should I do, Boogie B? What, Bria? Bria. What's up, Quay Bria? Quay Bria. Qua, Qua Bria. It's really Bria. I'm going to just leave it at Bria. I think you and Shanquinetta is now tied for the ghetto name of the day. Since you popped in. I'm glad you peeped your head in here, baby. I've been missing you. What's happening, Nikita? Nikita said, I wish my daughter would. I would have a serious talk with the police standing by. Whoa, Nikita, this gets out of hand. What you going to talk to her with the police standing there for? Whoa, whoa. What you got? What, what y'all got going on? You might put you about to jump on the girl. Hey, yeah. Okay, okay, it's time. I got enough. I think I got enough of what y'all said. I, it's time for the WWBBD portion of the show. It's time for me to put myself in my book and shoes to tell y'all what I would do if I was her. And I ain't never been no woman. But I'm going to tell you what I would say if I was a woman, from my perspective. I'm going to tell you what I would say. Hmm. Let me see now. Let me tell you this. All right. San Quinetta, listen up. Bria, listen up. Bria, listen up. Charlotte, Jessica Randall, what's up? They going to fight. Amy Ross with the sauce Hmm. I asked y'all today. What would you do if your 
man came to tell you that your 15, uh, that your 17 year old daughter was flirting with him. Which, which, what should you do next? Now, what Boogie B would do next if I was a woman and this happened to me? I would say to the guy, oh, why? Thank you so much for giving me that perspective. So I appreciate it. So you said, what's she doing? She said, so you said, the, what? so you said, no bra. So you said she walked around, no bra. Okay, titties on the nipples on the heart. Okay, what else you said? You said she had shorts on. What color was the shorts? What she trying to put on? Was it the gray ones? The ones that say Walter L. Cohen on the back? No, the shorts that say Booker T. Washington. Was it those? Booker T. Washington Middle School on the back? Them? Okay, good. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Okay, thank you so much for telling me. I appreciate y'all. I love you. Don't worry about it. I'm going to talk to her. And then, however, I don't talk right to her. I think I'm going to wait. I think I'm going to let her. I'm going to think I'm going to be observant. I'm going to wait to catch her with them Booker T. Washington shorts on again. I'm going to wait to catch her. With them Walter L. Cohen shorts on. I'ma wait, I'm gonna wait to catch her with them Ben Franklin booty shorts. And when I see her with them on, that's when I'ma be like, hmm, let me keep my eye on her today. I'm not leaving your i I'm not, I'm I'ma let y'all continue your normal pattern of life. But I'm gonna be on, I'ma put my eyes on you now. I'ma damn sure put my eyes on you, little daughter. I know I love you, but I know that coochie urge is probably too strong for you to bear. And your mama probably picked a good looking nigga. He chocolate, he handsome, he's funny. You like him? You like the type that I like because I've been hanging around you since you was a baby. I've been raising you since you was 16. So you definitely probably like the same taste in men as I have. But, let, but baby girl, I'm going to let you keep your pattern of behavior going. But after a while, I'm going to be watching you. And if I see you do any little booty pop split, Rub on his head, shake his head, ask to go somewhere with him without me asking you to ask him to go. You coming out your room all willy-nilly through the house, I'm going to be watching. And if I feel like it's you, I'm going to come to you like a woman. Now it's time for me to have the talk. After I observe you, and I can see that coochie on fire. I see you walk around the house with the... I see you in there doing the TikTok videos and you're going to show you... And you're going to show my man your TikTok videos with your titties about it. I see. You 17 years old. This man 39. Now, this man is, he a man, but he my man. And he don't want no parts of this little coochie. You don't even watch this coochie good. Now, you 17 years old. You ain't keep keeping this coochie as clean as I would like you to. In order for you to be worried about giving it to my man. So, let me sit you down. Let me sit my daughter down first. Uh, baby girl, sit down. Let me tell you something. That man ruins vaginas in that other room. Now, you just got this coochie. You ain't ready for the type of diggling my man got anyway. If you is horny for a dude, you need to go get you a little boy your age. Don't play with this one. Play with the little boys your age. Ooh, that They inexperienced. This nigga is a killer. This nigga in the room right there laying down. That nigga in there eating that. That nigga eat, that, that's in there eating that smothered uh, pork chop. He, that nigga put some major dealing on me. I'm telling my bitch, I paid all the bills for a long time because you don't know nothing about, you would never pay all the bills for a man. You trying to get money from men still. You're 17 years old. You're not ready for the level of dealing that he possesses. You get on your level of dealing before you get in trouble. Nah, yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. You talking about, no, you wasn't. Well, no, you wasn't. Okay, well, look. Okay, well, if you wasn't playing with my man, this is what I want you to do. I want you to put a turtleneck on, okay? I want you to wear that robe I bought you. Wear that, wear that, wear that my little pony robe I bought you a long time ago. It's long. Put it on every time you come out the room. Don't come out the room around my man Keith. And they call him Big Meat Keith. Don't come around Big Meat Keith without, without, no, without no little booty shorts and all that shit. Don't do that. We ain't doing that in this house. If you do, it's going to be time for you to pack it up and roll on out, baby. I ain't trying to kill you over my man or fight you over my man. But I will put you up out of here. Now, I know your daddy was a good man. But he gone now. He moved on to Jesus. And I know you got daddy issues. But don't, don't, not this one. This ain't the one you want. You can go get your author, nigga. You can go get your sugar daddy if you want to. But not this one. This nigga a killer. Go get you a sugar daddy that you, that you can possibly attain. 
You ain't ready to say it. My man came to me like a man and said, he don't want that little pissy pussy that you have. He came to me and said it. He said, look, your daughter been flirting with me. And I and I and you need to talk to her about it because I feel like it might be intentional. That means that he didn't want that little pee-pee that you have anyway. He didn't want it. He wasn't enticed by it. All the little booty popping and TikToking you've been doing. That ain't been enough for him. He came to me. Now, if he really wanted it, he would have tried. Come on, Yolanda. Hey, come on, Yolanda, at Lloyd. You better talk to him like a woman. You better come to your daughter like a woman. Um, excuse me, ma'am. So you think you're ready for this level of tickling now? I see you got your little shorts on, huh? Hmm. Oh, Br Brian said he told her because he interested and he thought he was going to be exposed and he knows she's not her real daughter, so she's fair game. Just sounds guilty as... And he thinking he already got, oh, 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 hold up, hold up. Now, Brea, Brea, that could be possibly true, but I'm not going to take that into consideration because I don't think that none of y'all is out here fucking with pedophiles. The man is 39. She is 17. If you pick the pedophile, you need to just break up with him if he's even attracted to 17 year old, you need to just break up with him whether something happened with her or not. That's that's exhibit A. But I'm going to assume that my boogie who came to us with the problem did not. I'm going to assume that she did not. Is not dating a pedophile. So that man came to her with genuine intent and said it. She didn't say it, that it sounded like he wanted that coochie or nothing like that. Oh no, I know, I know prayer. I know the type of niggas that's out here. It's a few of them out here. But I'm going to assume that that's not the case. I'm going to assume that he wasn't in, in interested in the 17-year-old girl at all. For the sake of this story, we'll, we'll talk about pedophiles another day. But but no, for the sake of this story, that man ain't, that man ain't, no, that man ain't interested in that girl. She's just doing something he feel like it could be a little bit uh, inappropriate for a young lady our age to do to a man that's not related to her. Hey, these young girls do be grown now, Yolanda. You better tell them. These young girls do be fast. They be having a face full of makeup and a head full of lace. Now, and them nails is Cardi B long and them lashes. And they done got their booty done and they done got the titties pumped up and they got a tattoo sleeve down there all. These little girls is wearing fashion over curves and popping boot up at early at 17 nowadays. They ain't like our generation, though. They wasn't like us. Well, well I mean, they kind of was like us because we wasn't shit neither. Let's just keep it real. When I was 17 years old, come on now, I was grinding on all the time. I had done ass sex three, four, four, four times by the time I was 17. Shit, I started getting coochie when I was 16 and never turned back. So I can't really be too mad at the generation under me if they some little horny, horny dogs. You damn right. Hey, listen, Shawana Shanks, you know I keeps it real. I ain't gonna let y'all get on here and get phony. Ain't no kids in here. And if it is, you need to leave. Go to another page. If you're a child, then you watching the Let Me Stress You Out show right now. Listen, let me tell you what you do. You ever heard of Zabuma Foo? So have you ever heard of that? Zabuma Foo. Type it in on Google. Type it in on YouTube and you go watch that. Don't watch Boogie Beat because I'm going to expose your mama, okay? I'm going to let your mama, your mama going to be a little too real from what you want, from what you want to hear. Okay, Six, you were 16 too, Charlotte? Oh, I know. Them Latino ladies hot, coochie be hot off the presses, hot off the heater, hotter than a 38. Uh, hotter, hotter than a, uh, hotter than a Uzi in a drive-by. That coochie was ready to shoot, shoot, shoot when you were 16, Charlotte. That's going to wrap it. And your daughter didn't got it honest. Now, let's not blame it on the man, prayer. He was honest and he came to you and said it. And he went and, and she, and you talked to her. When you talked to her, she said, yeah, well, I wasn't doing that. What if she say to you this, Lanisha? What if when you ask your daughter, hey, so what's going on with you? Because my man said you've been uh, coming around with your little titties out and stuff like that. What you been doing? 
what you what you trying to pull? What you want? And she'd be like, I mean, it ain't my fault that a bitch bad. Shit. It ain't my fault. What if she say that to you? <laughs> what you gonna say, Shelly? <laughs> what you gonna say if your daughter say, I mean, damn, it ain't my fault, yo man. Looking at me cause I'm thick. I mean, what if she don't cuss? What if she just say this? Well, it ain't my fault that your man looking at me cause I'm thick. What? What if she say that to you? What you gonna say then? Uh huh. Yeah, bro. You done blamed it on the. You done blamed it on the man for no reason. What about if you ask her and you and, he, and she and the daughter says he been trying to talk to me. He came in there with the room and there. He came and tried to touch my coot. He tried to touch my leg and everything. He came in there with his dingling, with his boxing shorts on, with his dingling swinging and all that. He came in my room late at night. He be coming in there with his wave brush and shit. Talking about I left my wave brush in here. All kind of little stuff he be doing. That's him. You need to talk to your man. Woo! Then shit get real. Now you got to get them together. After you done interviewed both witnesses, you bring them into the courtroom or the living room, Leanna. This is step three. Leanna, you jump straight to step three. You gonna just jump straight to bring them both straight in the living room. You about to fuck this up and never find out what's, what's going on if you do it that way. So you got to wait and talk to her first after you done observed her doing some suspect shit. After you done observed her with the Benjamin Banneker shorts on and she came in there talking about, look at this new TikTok dance. Look at this one. And she clapping her booty cheeks in front of him. Nah, that's when you approach her. If that doesn't happen, if she don't give you no evidence when you watch and observe before you bring anything to her on step numero uno, which is the one way he told you what the look, what's going on and you have a choice to make and you said you was going to talk to her. Before you talk to her, you're going to observe her and make sure that you see what he says that you should see. And then when you see it, then you have the talk with her. If you do not see it, you do not have the talk with her. You keep waiting until you see it. And in the meantime, what your ass is going to do is keep her from out of the room with y'all. Keep him from out of the room with her. Keep her out. Both of y'all stay in y'all corners. When I'm at work, you go to your room, you go to your room, and never the tween shall meet. How about that? Don't go around each other because I don't want, I don't know what's going on, but stay in your room and you stay in your room. And you, hey, put your headphones on, you put, listen to your music, play your video games if you want to. But you don't come in the room with my man and you don't go in the room with her. Y'all shall never see each other. If you got something to tell her, text her. If you got something to tell me, text me or call me and I will tell her. We ain't even gonna have no communication. I'm about to set a communication barrier between my man and my little flirtatious stepdaughter. You set the little barrier, and then if it get breached upon again, then you have to, then you will be able to ascertain who was the one to initiate the bullshit in your reasonable deduction. You can't live like that, Nikita. Somebody gotta go. What you gonna do? Put your daughter out. What you gonna do, Nikita? You gonna put out? You gonna tell your daughter bye bye, bye bye, baby girl? Hold on, somebody said, dearly beloved, we gathered in a day to come together in this fast little girl and this sick man. Now the man wasn't sick. The man ain't on it. Let's say hypothetically speaking to make this shit more understandable to y'all. Let's say, mama, you done got complaints before about this. One of your other dudes said, before a long time ago, said your little daughter was a little fast ass. Come on, Shawana Shanks. Thank you so much, baby. I sure appreciate it. Let me see. Where her mama at? We don't know where her mama at. Her mama was, the daddy probably was raising her because the mama might have been on drugs in the 80s or something. She don't even have, her mama ain't nowhere to be found. We don't know where her mama at. Let's just say for, for sake of her daddy passed away and we don't know where her mama is, but the last thing we knew she was a drug addict. And 
Hey, what did it say, Cry Cry J? Go be a go be a how? Go be a house. What does that mean? Leanna said, I'm glad my ch children are grown. Yeah, Leanna, you might not run across this one no more. But this might happen on the other end of you, so you might need to figure this shit out. Now, let me tell you what what you just what you how to summarize this shit. And don't, don't, don't let me forget to tell you this your last day to order your purple pack hoodies. No exceptions, uh, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to, but I'm about to put the order in from the distributor tomorrow. And that's going to be it. And I got only the size for the people who ordered one. I don't got a bunch of larges and a bunch of extra large. I just got your size. If you ordered one, I ordered your size individually. So I got enough for and only the people. And I got to order them in big orders anyway. So I got a big order going in. And this is the only order that's going in for the rest of the year. Because I don't want my purple pack to get overwhelmed with people who faking like they purple pack. And they ain't even in our crew. They they come here one day, and they think they can go get in the purple pack. No, you ain't getting in the purple pack. You got to come here all the time. We got to know who you is. We got to know how you think. Then you're in the purple pack. Now, I want to know how you think if your old friend said your daughter is, on, is my daughter only, your only daughter, 21. Okay, get them out the house, baby girl. So I can come in there and put that digger lean on you with no regard. Hey, get her out the house. I'm in there beating your mama with vagina loose from my body. I get it. Now, you know, you putting all that cooch on me. Now, if I'm that man and this girl flirting with Boogie B, I'm going to come to you. Now, I'm going to come to you like a man. Hey, um, shall I lock on? Yeah, your little daughter. Yeah, I love her, right? Cool. Me and you been together a year and a half, almost two years. I love you. You love me, right? Right, yeah. Um, but your little daughter, you know, she seemed a little fast to me. She seemed a little inappropriate sometimes. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, I feel like she be trying me a little bit. Like, I feel like what was, I think you need to try to observe or talk to her or something because I feel like she, I, I, ain't, I ain't into that. I don't mess with no kids. I don't do that. She's 17. She don't know how to wipe that coochie clean yet. Hell no. You got to tell her to take two, take a bath too many times after it is not. No. I would never. Uh -uh. No, your daughter be a little musky between me between me and you. I would never tell a girl that because I love her. But between me and you, you know your daughter be a little musky. You know when she be coming from outside, she got that hair on the arm. Man. She just started shaving with a little razor. But that little older is, you know, your little daughter is be a little musky sometimes. So I'm going to be honest with you. Not all the time, because she a clean girl. But, 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 you know, every now and then I done smelt your daughter, just smelt the pretty right a day, a many a day. So no, ne never will I have to put your hand on your daughter. But I would like you to know that your daughter is putting herself in a position like a grown man position. Like, I mean, like literally bumping into my ding -a -ling. Like, I, what's that about? Like, I mean, literally, I, I felt like she bumped into my ding -a -ling on purpose one day in the kitchen. I was in the kitchen, I, you know, I was cleaning the, um, you know, oven out. Remember, you told me to clean the oven out that time. So I'm cleaning the oven out. I get up to get the rag. I turn around. She walk across me in the back of her hand, bump across the head of my dingley. And I was like, oh, hell no. You see me with these goddamn shit on my hands. And, uh, you know, I got the gloves on and shit. And I, and I felt my dingley jumped up, too. My dingley was like, hey. Who did that? I ain't grab my shit because my hands was wet. So I just went like, hey. And I just, and, and then she, I felt like she turned around and went, mm. Afterwards, I was like, yeah. That was weird. That was awkward. That was probably your daughter. It wasn't me, though. It definitely wasn't me. That was your daughter flirting with me. Now you go talk to her. What, but don't come, don't tell me I got the problem. I don't like no damn kids. Hey, yeah, I ain't be that close to her. She came in the house much of that day. And what day it wasn't me. You see, you trying to be defensive over your daughter, praying like these little young girls ain't never done this. You trying to act like ain't no girl ever hollered at no grown-ass man before. That's what you trying to act like. I don't know what you trying to put it out there. It's a, it, it's a live situation that's happening in my book at like right now. So, but you putting it in the perspective of like, no, this don't happen. Little girls never hit on men who's 17. 17 year old girls that never hit on men. That would be ridiculous. That's what world you think we living in? No, 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 no. That little girl bumped into me and she done it and she done did a little similar shit. And I was, I was just observing her. 
But I felt like I need to come tell you because I feel like I'm going to have to check your daughter in a minute. And I don't want to check your daughter because I love the girl. Ever since I met her, you know, we've been cool. You say it's the conversation I think we definitely have to have. Yeah, it's an awkward conversation, but you definitely going to. If I tell you that your daughter hitting on me, you better, you better keep your eyes peeled. You better keep them open like a smoker, Gina. Open like a smoker. You better keep them eyes peeled. When you when I tell you your little daughter doing something to me, don't cue me. Watch her. Watch what she doing. You see her at the pool, getting out the pool with her little friends, twerking on the side of the pool, licking her tongue out. No, hell no. Your little daughter a hot ass. Let's double dip. Let's double dip. The show over. Thank you so much. Let me stress you out. Show live 2021. I am your host, comedian, Boogie D, the New Orleans representative, a.k.a. the mouth of the South, a.k.a. Mr. Come here. Let me stress you out, and I'm out. Thank y'all. See y'all tomorrow. I hope you get your purple pack. I'm going over to Instagram to tell them, too. Hold on. Come over there if you're with me. Y'all